So what do you think? We added the water and I was pretty descriptive in my observations. Why? Because we're in fourth grade. So we need to step it up a little bit and be more descriptive in our writing. So let's follow along on what I said for my observation. Yours may be different, but that's okay. So again, if I added two ounces of water to the water bottle, it created bubbles and settled to the bottom below the oil. Pretty crazy, right? Like I added the oil first, which you would think it would be still on the bottom, but the water settled. So now we're gonna go to our next step. I have some food coloring and hopefully you can. It is optional, so if you don't have it, it's okay. But I have gathered food coloring to put into my lava lamp. If you have food coloring, you're going to add about four drops. I would say between four and six into your water bottle. So add four drops of food coloring. Here we go. One, two, three, four. As you can see, it's dropping and going to the bottom. And oddly enough, it goes and colors my water, the color that I added. So obviously it's red. So you could see, hopefully on yours too, that it's coloring the water red. Now, strange enough, I put it third in and it's still sinking to the bottom. So what do you think? You look at it for a minute, try to take an observation, and remember, add four drops of food coloring to the water bottle. What happens? You tell me on your next slide and we'll come back for the next step.